Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So in our group UK Cricket Creators we do free virtual events. We do about eight a month and this month we are doing the SVG Cuts Nutcracker. This is amazing. Now normally with these we will show how to scale it down or how to cut using A4 but keeping the scale the same. But everyone's asking to actually make it larger. So I'm going to show you A how to make it larger and how you can cut on 12 by 12 and 12 by 24 and also what each of the pieces are so that if you want to change the color scheme for the event you can do so. Don't forget that everything needs to be cut ready for the event so it all needs to be cut out so that we can put it together together. I'm obviously going to purchase the SVG and then download it. I can then come into design space, go to upload, upload image. I'm going to browse for my download. You can see there it says Nutcracker. I'm going to select the SVG files. And we've got each of the individual pieces and then we have the entire document separated so this is really nice and easy to work with and it will make your life a lot easier so I'm going to bring it all in as one so I'm just going to open that and I'm choosing the perforated cut lines because I prefer to work with them but you will find solid score lines in here as well I'm simply going to upload and then add to my canvas so nice and easy to start with, I'm going to ungroup it and you'll see when I ungroup it, everything becomes individual. So I've got all those individual pieces. So nice and easy and simple, I'm just going to highlight, align and center. And I can then make the width or the height the largest it can be so we're going to go by the height because that's the larger number and we're going to make it 11.5 inches and of course we've kept everything in proportion and we've resized it all at the same time now if I wanted to I could actually separate this so if I wanted to I could slice this here and then actually duplicate it and slice out this piece, weld the extra piece of this onto here to create those sides and then I could stick my lid on separately. That is a personal choice if you want to do that. I'm not going to do that today, I'm just going to size it up how I have and then I'm going to actually colour code everything. So I'm going to get everything into the correct colour sections. So what I'm going to do is go over what each of the pieces are because piecing them together will depend on if you want to use patterns, if you want to use planes, if you're going to use directional patterns then obviously you don't want to be changing the direction of your cut piece. If you're using something like a solid black, then you could rotate your piece to make it fit more snugly with the other pieces. Also, whether you want to cut in A4, 12 by 12 or 12 by 24 is going to make a difference. So I'm not going to go over putting it all together. I'm going to go over what the pieces are and how you can change them if you want to. So all these rust coloured pieces here, this whole section here, which you could have as a 12 by 12 piece and then just a smaller cut, or as I say, you can rotate them if you're not using a directional pattern to allow them to fit a lot better. So those rust colours are the actual red part of the body, so the main part of the body We've got a little bit of it here poking through and then the tops of the boots as well. I've got these two little pieces here and then these two little pieces. So this here is the moustache and these two pieces here are the eyebrows. So again we've got the two eyebrows and then the two moustache pieces. 
These two pieces here are the hat. So you can see the hat there. I've then got the belt piece. These four pieces are the boots. And then this is the cape. Now, I could choose to have these all in the same colour, in which case I could put them all on two 12 by 12 sheets, or I could do one 12 by 24 sheet, or I could have them as different types of black. So for example, the hat, I could do a metallic black card. For the boots, I could do a glitter black. The cape, I could do a pearl black, so on and so forth. So how you want to put these together is completely up to you. But again, this section here is the hat. This is the belt. These are the boots. And this is the cape. So we've got the boots, the belt, the hat, the eyebrows, the moustache, and there is a cape peeking in the back there as well. I've got three sections of gold and again I could have these all the same or I could have them different finishes of gold or completely different colours. So these four pieces here is actually the gold areas on the arms. So one, two, three and four. I've then got the belt buckle and I've got the gold embellishments on the body as well. So there are my gold embellishments on the body and then there is my belt buckle. So again, I could have them all as the same colour and cut them all on the same sheet or I could have them in different colours or different shades or different finishes. So it's completely up to you. You can really go really crazy with this. This whole area here is actually the face and the nose. I would tend to keep that all as one sheet or one colour and just cut them out together. And you could actually get away with doing that on A4. This blue piece here is the gem piece at the top of the hat. So this piece here. Here we've got the crown. So this piece along here which has got the red and green checks. These purple pieces go on the crown, so these embellishments here in purple. We've also got another purple section here, which forms part of our coat. And again, we could cut those separately to those pieces, or we could obviously attach them and cut them together. These two pieces are our arms, so they create our arm pieces, like so. Our two green pieces are our legs, so we can see our leg pieces there. This green piece here is the base, so there's our base. We've got two blue circles, they are the blues of our eyes. And we've also got these two white pieces, they are the whites of our eyes. This white section here is the beard, and these little white squares are the teeth. So here we've got our beard, our teeth and our eyes. And then these two sections of white are actually the hair. So again, you could cut all those white pieces out in one or you could do them as separate mats and cut them out in different shades or different textures, different finishes. You've got so many options with this. Just remember that once you've got everything how you want it, not only do you need to attach your perforated cut lines or your solid score lines to your base pieces, you also need to attach each of your mat pieces. So for example, my hair, I would attach all as one. And I'd be able to cut that out on A4. If I wanted to add the teeth and the beard and the eyes, then I could add those in and I'd still get that cut in A4. The same with my legs, I'd attach those and those perforated cuts together and I'd be able to cut that in A4. So it just depends how you want to build this in terms of colours, textures and finishes. But take your time and just work out how you want it to look. Don't forget, that you can change your colours as well. So by coming up to operation 
and I can then change them to how I want them to be. Especially if you're using different shades, different textures, you want to know what you're going to be cutting what in. So for example, with all these, I would probably keep my moustache and my eyebrows the same. So I'd put those together and I would keep them grey and I would just attach them. The hat I'd have as a separate cut. So I'd attach those together but I'm going to change the colour on those to a different shade. My boots. If I was using a directional pattern I would want to obviously have the direction going the correct way. If I wasn't using a directional pattern or no pattern at all, then obviously I could have these however fits best. I'm going to attach them as they are. And again, I'm just going to have a different shade. And then the same with the cape and the belt. So it's definitely worth taking your time with this. I can't wait to see these because they're going to be so different. I love it when we all create the same thing, but they always look so different depending on the card stocks you're using, the textures, the finishes, the colours. So I'm very excited for the Nutcracker. If anyone's got any comments or questions, you can leave them below or you can send Laura or myself a message via the group. And of course, you can ask in the group as well. Please make sure that you are cut for the event so that we can all do this together. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you at the event. Bye.